edition of you Well, let's get it started. We had the nominees yesterday. We got the five, top five today. Y'all seen this nominee yesterday. Okay. Watch this boy go up and yep. get this frizz. Yep, up, yep. up and away. Oh, my God. Down the field, and he goes up and get it. Hey, he mostly met. That was a great catch, great concentration. Oh, Come on, baby, you got to do better than that. You got Moss. <laughs> Let's go to high school football. Bender, look at this catch right here. Yeah. I see you, boy. That hey, kinda, that kind of looked like you. This was a great catch by you. See, you got Moss. I know you're on the number one team in the country, but boy, you can get Moss, too. There you go. That's State again, Charles Woodson. Ohio. Ohio. Man, I said it. I don't want no more DBs on this You Got Moss segment, but we had to get him. I see the way you rode to Mars. If you keep making plays like this for your team, I don't know what the future holds for you. You got Moss. Great catch. Body Bowl Defender. Get DBs. He wanted more than you. Once again, Body Bowl Defender. That means you go up for a rebound. Hit him, then get the ball. But Moss, last but not least, number one of the week. Wows us with this one-headed catch. Look at that catch right there, Charles Woodson and Steve Young. <laughs> hey. Man, sorry I had to put it on here for your old team, but... You got to get him at the highest point. Moss, you got Moss. Got Moss. That was unreal, man. Woo. Those last two plays, unreal. The wide receiver position has such an impact on this league right now because you can score or make these big plays instantly with talent like that. There seems to be no limit to what today's receivers can do. They are more athletic than ever, and they've gone through a steady evolution through history. In the 30s and 40s, the forward pass wasn't popular until the Packers' Don Hudson dominated his era and revolutionized the game. In the 50s and 60s, the Colts' Raymond Berry mastered the art of precision route running. In 1965, a former Olympic gold medal sprinter raced into the NFL. The Cowboys' Bob Hayes blazed a new trail for receivers. Bob Hayes comes into the game and the fast guys come into the game, and I think they really impacted the game because they showed everybody that speed can be as big a weapon as power. In the 70s, Pittsburgh's Lynn Swan added acrobatics to a receiver's repertoire. In the 80s and 90s, the West Coast offense became popular. Players like Jerry Rice showed how big athletic receivers could turn short passes into game-breaking plays. I think the trend was, especially when the West Coast offense got going, was to find big receivers. Now it's big receivers that can run. All of a sudden, you have a gamut of these big receivers that can really get up and go. Today, the ball is thrown downfield more than ever. 100 catch seasons are not uncommon for receivers like the Vikings' Randy Moss. That means throw it up above his head. They can't jump with me. Golly! At six foot four, Moss's jumping ability makes him nearly unstoppable when the ball is up for grabs. Put it in the back of the end zone, let me yoke on it. I'm serious, Pep, trust me. I promise, when you put it up and you see that yoke, you can't do nothing but get your roll on. You can't do nothing but get your roll on. When you see one-on-one -on -one coverage, you've got a 6'4 guy against a 5'10 guy. Why would you not? Now every team hopes to find the next Randy Moss. Of the record seven receivers drafted in the first round this year, six of them stand at least six foot two. Randy Moss did things that we've just never seen out of another receiver before or since. All right, man. Right. Freak. The original freak, you know, running a four three at six foot four and could out jump anybody. Randy Moss out jump Seahorn and Sean Williams. You guys can't hold me out there. They learned, no one knew how to cover Randy Moss. It was like a video game. Moss is open, and Randy got it! Another great catch! Drop back, press X, throw the deep bomb. Intended for Moss! Oh my God, he caught it! You give me one drive, and you say, we've got one dude at wide receiver. I don't care who the quarterback is. What a great catch by Randy Moss! Randy Moss, stop me if you can, because it's going to be straight cash homie. Your mind is what makes you a great quarterback. Your body does not make you a great quarterback. It's intellect. It's truly, how smart are you? 
Do you have the intellect to play football? It is a chess game. And in football, taking a few seconds every 10 seconds, so it gets a new play, a new strategy, a new idea, change it up. Okay, now we'll come out, we'll fight each other for a few seconds, then go back in our huddle, make a new plan, new strategy, go back out. And that's what's happening constantly throughout a game. It's a very difficult process. It's about a lot of studying. It's a lot of practice. And I really believe that there are minds that are set up for football, that are set up for the chaos and the pressure of football smarts, field smarts. The great quarterbacks all have it. If you can get to where you have the intellect and the preparation so your mind can be free, then you can finally use your physical talent where you have the experience and your body is in great shape, that it's like uh, nirvana, it's football nirvana. How do you take all the information, not only game day, but the time that the ball is in play, and how do you use that to find out where to throw the ball, and what time, and how, and what speed, and velocity, and when you can't even see. It's like the big guys in front of you like, excuse me, but I can't see, and I'm supposed to throw this and make this all happen. I have to be honest, when I watch the film, I'll, I'll watch it and I'll say, how did I even think to do that? How did I know? And it's an ability, I guess, to have it in the back of your brain, somewhere where it's subconscious. 322 scat, Y stick nod, Z shell across. I want, ready? The information in your brain has to be embedded so deep that you don't even get a chance to think about it. Let's go in and out, in and out, here we go. That's the piece to the puzzle. It's almost like the uh, microchip that goes in and makes the whole thing work. While Porter was the intimidator of the Steelers' defense, to be the best requires a rare breed of physical strength and mental toughness, and the ability to intimidate the opposition while motivating their teammates. Everybody stand up and be accountable. Let's go. Dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate. dominate. Let's go. More than just a menacing motor mouth, Porter's actions speak volumes as well. Number 55 is one of the most explosive linebackers in the NFL. Don't wait for nothing. Read your keys. And anybody touch the football, let's hit them. I'm crazy for football. That's my passion. When I get to game time, I'm... Porter leads with an unequaled intensity and continues to set the standard by which all other linebackers are measured.